uh, a mixture and uh, we can see that I've got sand and I've got water in here and I would like to be able to separate them as much as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, the first strategy, the first uh, technique that we can use to separate uh, a solid that does. And to filter, we're going to be using uh, a setup that is going to use a, uh, some filter paper. And we've got our uh, funnel right here. We've got, I've got a glass funnel. Notice that I've got my ring stand with my ring hooked up to it. I have uh, a beaker that I'm going to hold my liquid in. And I've got a filter paper. I've got a filter paper. I'll show you how to use the filter paper. Uh, my wash bottle. Uh, I'm first going to um, squirt um, my funnel real quick so that the filter paper will stick a little better on there. Okay, you can see there was no splashing. In this case, it's water on water, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to have to dump this out. All right, so now I'm going to fold my filter paper into quarters. So here's, I folded it into half. So here, fold it into half. And I'm going to fold it into half again. Okay, fold it into half again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first Right, I've got one, two, three layers that I've made, right? So I'm going to take the first layer, and notice that the first layer will give me a good cone right here. So now I just open it, and it gives me a cone shape, a funnel shape. Now I'm going to place it in the glass funnel, and I'm going to press it gently against it. I don't want to tear it. And for the funnel paper, for the funnel, uh, for the filter paper to stick to the funnel, I'm actually going to have to add a little bit of water and I'm gonna to have to wet it okay and that will allow my filter paper to stick against the walls of the funnel so now I'll just very gently push against it I want my paper to really stick against the walls but don't tear it be careful not to tear all right so there it is so now what I can do is once again uh, being very careful I'm gonna use again my uh, chemical spatula and this time I'm placing the chemical spatula all the way down into the filter paper, right? And I'm going to pour a little bit at a time so that it only goes show you the difference. You can see how this water is much more clear than this water. This one's kind of cloudy, this one's clear, and this is the water that has been filtered. The filter has been able to catch those smaller particles, those finer particles of sand that were still suspended in the water. And so